Now a story that is all new at 11 that we're focusing on a group of inspirational women who flew during World War II. They're called the Women's Air Force Service Pilots or WASPs. They broke barriers and took every possible mission except for combat. And despite serving with distinction, these women were denied the basic honors given to other veterans. Pete Montine introduces us to one woman flyer who has one more lesson to teach. To put it simply, Elaine Harmon was tough. She flew with men who needed retraining before going to combat, even though she could not. After 95 years, only cancer could strike her down. But there was one more battle. And this here, one that Harmon's granddaughter, Erin Miller, chronicles in this new book. It's called Final Flight, Final Fight. It's a way to share the story of the women Air Force Service pilots with a lot more people. A story that culminates with an act of Congress. Harmon's dying wish was to be buried at Arlington National Cemetery, an honor denied to the 25,000 wasps. That is until Miller, an attorney, refused to be outclassed by the Army. Not everyone is going to have to go to Congress to ask them to pass a law to bury a relative. This is one part history, one part how-to on lobbying lawmakers. Miller even tattooed the bill number on her right arm. This week, she started a book tour. The first stop? her grandmother's grave at Arlington. I hope that it inspires people to address the government if they have problems. I think it's an instructive uh, lesson for people who might end up in the same situation. The scrappy spirit of the wasp still soaring beyond the history books. At Arlington National Cemetery, Pete Muntean, WUSA 9.